Hey guys and welcome back to my weekly vlog. I hope you're all really, really well. Today I've kickstarted my Monday by filming five party hair tutorials. Here is a sneak peek of one of them. Oops, it's featuring a little bit of glitter. Um, yeah, so just film that. Now I'm gonna have some lunch and edit this video because it's gonna take me a while because I'll make the YouTube video, then I'll make five Instagram tutorials and then five Instagram TV tutorials out of content. <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh, I've had a stressful day. Trying to edit five Instagram videos and a YouTube video and Instagram TV. It's long, with, especially with the dogs being annoying. Having to get up and down for them. I haven't managed to do everything that I wanted to do today, which is frustrating. So now I'm having to spend the evening doing emails, which I really need to do because I've left them for ages. And I've got some important emails to reply to. And then I'm gonna have to edit my weekly vlog tomorrow and fingers crossed I get time. For now, we need to go food shopping. Uh, tonight's dinner. Oh my god, so much cheese. Baked camembert. Oh! Morning guys, so it's now Tuesday and it's my sister's birthday today. So I'm heading into town for some lunch with her and my mum and my stepdad. As you can see, my makeup is very glam and sparkly today. That is because I've just filmed a tutorial on this look um, in collaboration with Impulse. Basically, kind of did like a wintry mermaid look to help promote my new Sophie Hanna Impulse limited edition Mermaid Ways and Peachy Paradise body mist. Um, so if you haven't got your hands on that yet, I'll pop a link below. Um, I need to grab the bottle actually. I will show you guys later. Um, yeah, it's such a nice scent. Some of you guys have already bought it already, which is amazing. You've been tagging me in all of your posts and you've also been loving it. The scent is so fresh. It's it's just, honestly, it's so lush and it's so friggin' cool that I've got my own body mist out. Um, yeah, it's amazing. It is obviously a mermaid themed one. Um, so that's why I've done this look, um, which I'm really loving. It's so sparkly. Uh, yeah, I am going to go to town now and also need to get some makeup from town. I'm running out of my Max Studio Fix powder, which is my powder I literally wear all day, every day. It is the most amazing powder. It sets your foundation and keeps it on all day. So I need to go and get some of that. I'm NC35, if any of you are interested in what shade I wear. Um, and then I've got pest control coming to the house because I think I told you guys that we've got rats, which is not fun. Apparently they've been there for years because we found out from like the neighbours. Um, I need to go chat to my neighbour about it actually because I think they might have had them or still have them. I'm not sure. I need to see whether, well, what their situation is with them. Um, and then see what pest control do today. They put poison down last week. I didn't really want to do that to be honest because I feel so horrible. But it is... I, I've reached out to a lot of people on my at Sophie Hannah home Instagram and they've literally said the only way to get rid of them is poison because rats will just literally keep coming back if you don't kill them off, which is horrible really um, because they have like a habit and they know where their nest is so they're just going to come back. So yeah, it's not nice. So I'm really sorry that I've had to do that. I feel awful. Um, so yeah, so we need to check today the situation with the rats. And then I'm going to get someone to come and rat proof the house. But for now, let's go for lunch. So I just got back from a really nice lunch. I had a mushroom risotto. It's Carluccio. It's delish. Um, just was doing some invoices and things. But I just got a phone call from Pest Control. They are coming to the house now. So I'm going to head around there. And yeah, fingers crossed. It's all okay. And the rats, we've got rid of them. But yeah, we shall see. I will update you when I get back. So guys, I haven't updated you on the pest situ. So I was leaving the new house and my neighbour came and grabbed me because we had a delivery from our mortgage company. Shadow, oi. And um, it was just like a welcome pack. But I was like, actually, as I've got you here, rats. And he was like, do you wanna come in? I was like, yes, please. And basically he has had rats before so he bought the ha his house which is joined to ours in february in 2018 so this year and he has had a few issues with rats uh, but he's got a cat now and he's not really seen them since and he blocked up all the holes and he worked out where they were getting in however i mean which is great for him he did knock on the neighbor's door though but the neighbors said that they didn't have any 
which is obviously a lie because there is some and we found old rat poison and stuff but yeah anyway so the rats have eaten some of the poison in the house which means that they have been in there so we've replaced the poison and we'll see if it gets taken again um because then obviously we're going to figure out how many there are there's obviously more than one the guy thinks and yeah um that's the situation at the moment um, the neighbour said that when a rat got into theirs, it flooded their whole kitchen because the rat chewed through their washing machine cables and it also chewed through their fridge cables. And now they might have to redo their whole kitchen because it flooded it and the floor tiles have basically like moved a little bit and messed it up. So yeah, it's not great really that because of one rat, they've now got to redo their whole kitchen. It's just not great. Um, yeah, but anyway, I'm going back there now because I'm meeting a guy who's going to take some measurements and sort out the flooring for us. Now, we can't get the flooring done until the rewiring's done, but hopefully maybe we can book him in for the end of November, maybe middle of December or something to do the flooring. Hopefully the flooring could be done before Christmas. That would be amazing because then we can actually start ordering, you know, furniture and bits and bobs like that. Um, because we can just put the furniture in the middle of the rooms whilst the decorating and the plastering and everything's getting really done but yeah i'm gonna go back to the house now and i'm scared because it's dark and i don't want the rats to come and get me morning guys so it's now wednesday and i just filmed this party makeup look for you all it is gonna go on youtube very soon and instagram not sure when but keep an eye out party makeup look um i use final cut pro to edit and um yeah i quite like it it's really easy to use there's lots of different effects and stuff that are already built in and you just drag and drop so it makes it super easy when it comes to editing i use the trial version so i'm going to show you what you can do you basically change the date on your laptop or your imac to when you had that trial for that 30 days. So mine was back in November 2016. And you just change the date and then you open it up and then you can change the date back to the normal date once it's opened. And your computer never friggin' knows. It's brilliant. And to change the date, all you do is you go up to the top right hand corner, click open date and preferences. If it opens. When it's opened, you click the lock to make changes, type in your password, and then untick set date and time automatically. And then you go to the date, obviously, that you need to set. You click on the date, and then you click lock to prevent any further changes and the date's changed. And that is literally all you do. And then when you open it up, it's all great, and it's there. So yeah, so it doesn't actually mean you have to pay for it, which I know is bad but it's really, really expensive. And I'm pretty sure you have to pay yearly for it. I pay yearly for Photoshop and stuff, and that costs me quite a bit. But obviously, I know this trick, and if I can do this, I may as well save some money. So yeah, that is what I do. So I've just got a delivery from my mood, and it says, unwrap the happiness, this one's for you. So let's see what it is. Ooh. We've got not here to be average facial sheet mask and bath bowl. Oh, yeah, that's nice. What's this? Get up, show up. A kit. What if, what's in there? Oh, it looks like. Oh, it's got a bath bomb and body wash. What's this? Oh my god, look at the packaging. Body wash. Sheet mask. Some good little goodies there for Christmas presents. They are available at Boots. They've even got the Boots gift sticker. So you know how they do three for two sometimes? I assume these will be in the three for two, which is amazing. I love that Boots. So good for Christmas shopping. 
So I don't know if some of you remember me chatting to you about getting a new website. So I'm kind of nearly done. I've just trying, I'm just trying to figure out fonts, which is so hard and frustrating. I just don't really know what I want. So I'm just testing some out on Photoshop. So here's a little snippet of like what some of my blog posts will look like. And I'm just trying to test out what fonts are like just by literally going through and looking. It's long and frustrating, but I will get there in the end and I will hopefully pick on. So I've just made a rice salad thing for lunch. I've got cucumber, halloumi and golden vegetable rice. Morning guys, so it's now Thursday and I went to the new house this morning because the electricians have begun work. We are getting the whole house rewired. Um, when I walk to the train station, I might leave a little bit earlier and just nip in and show you guys what is going on because they're ripping up the floorboards, ripping out loads of the walls and everything. They're literally rewiring the whole house. They're, they're taking out all the original electricity wires I'm replacing them with new ones. I'm getting new sockets. I'm getting gold uh, light switches, gold sockets. Ah, so exciting. And I felt like such a designer earlier because I was walking around the guy. I was like, so where do you want a socket? Where do you want a plug? Do you want a switch and everything? And I was like, oh, well, I, I want one there. I want one there. I want one either side of the bed. I want these lights here. And I was like, I feel like such a designer. Like, it's so fun. Um, yeah, so that was crazy. Also, I was so in into... What I was doing last night, I didn't end up vlogging in the night, so I'm going to show you what I was doing. Basically, I was messing around on Photoshop and I took photos of the house. So all my before shots, I took them, some of those photos, put it in Photoshop and I started working in furniture, changing the wall colours and everything. And I've kind of mocked up our hallway and living room. I'm really excited to show you actually. I really hope you like it. Right, let's get on my computer. So this is the hallway. I've got these amazing blue like star tiles. And I think we're gonna keep it nice and fresh and clean looking, very light. I know we've got the dark colour here, but it feels very light. Um, yeah, at the end here will be the bathroom. So we're gonna change that door. And basically all I did was I used all the layers and I'll zoom out so you can see. And I've just got layers of like, I've changed that to make it a bit lighter. Um, there you go, covered up the radiator. That's the floor tiles. I've just done a lot of layers of, there you go, there's the paint. So before it looked like that. And then I've just added all these different elements to make it look like a proper little room. That's the hallway. This is a living room which I literally am in love with. So we've gone for like a dark kind of Hague blue from Fire and Ball kind of colour. But we're probably going to use Valsper paint to be honest. We've got one of these sun mirrors which I'm loving at the moment. We've kept the fireplace white because we're keeping the ceiling white I think now. It just keeps it nice and fresh looking. I think I'm going to change this though. Let me find the layer for that and take it off because... Is that it? We're basically going to have... Because this is a picture rail that goes around here. So we're going to have the picture out and then above it is going to be white. If this works, I don't know what this is doing. It's a bit slow. Sofa is from Made. We've already got that. That's it. There we go. That's what it's going to look like. So it just like lightens it up a little bit more because I guess we don't want it to be so dark. We've got all these amazing pictures and stuff. Got a little neon light, cute pillows. We've got this rug from Lorena uh, Loren Canals, I think. Um, swoon furniture, we've got this amazing lamp, palm tree lamp, got these disco balls I love, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited! So that's one side. And then this is the other side of the living room. So we'll have the TV on like a nice little unit here. I still think it's like a little bit bare, so I don't know whether to like, I feel like we might have some plants here or something. Um, I just need to change one thing because the door now, I covered it up in, like, the same colour as the wall. You can see they've covered up the radiator as well. We're going to paint it the same colour. 
but the door i'm just not sure whether we have the door wooden because i feel like it looks better but because the door is currently like this but it needs to be sorted out anyway so maybe we might need to just oil it and put make it a little bit darker or something to match that i don't really know but yeah i need to sort the fireplace out as well i want to get some nice tiles in here and this whole bit down here tiled really nicely but yeah this is the kind of vibe that we're going for and it's going to be so excited now. I'm so pleased with those little kind of Photoshop designs that I did. Um, they look really, really good. But yeah, so I have no makeup on today, by the way, because I'm going to London to shoot with NYX, which is fun. So that's also happening later today. I'm getting uh, my hair done and I'm going to like a proper studio and I've got to film like a glitter makeup look. Obvs. Um, that's what they picked me because of the glitter. But yeah, so that should be fun. And then I'm meeting the girls later for some dinner and hopefully going to go to an Urban Decay event if I can make it, if the shoot finishes on time. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. But yeah, on my way to the train station, I'll quickly nip into the house and show you guys what's going on because they're literally ripping it up. This is where the shoot is going to take place soon. Rachel is shooting at the moment. This is my hair for the shoot. I've gone for a bit of a textured, a messy wave. And after we've shot downstairs, we are heading to this area here, which looks so much fun. There's like a confetti cannon. I've got the most amazing sequin outfits to wear. And um, yeah, I'm excited. This is the most amazing jumpsuit ever, and I get to wear it later on today. with Nyx. The shoot went really, really well. Really pleased with how it all looks. And now I am on my way to an Urban Decay event, which I'm trying to find the place for. So that record has literally ran because it finishes very soon. But the girl's going to be there. So yeah, and then we're going to go out for some ding -dings. Ian at Ed's diner and I've got chicken tenders and bacon and cheese fries. Morning guys, so it's now Friday and I am heading to Cambridge. I have got to go to Patworth Hospital again for my heart and have heart checks. I think I'm spending all day there, which is long, going on my own, which is not great, a bit boring, but yeah, fingers crossed it goes okay. I'm just having lots of different tests, I'm not really entirely sure which ones. Um, yeah, I think they're going to be testing like the structure of my heart and how it beats and everything. But yeah, I need to hurry up because I'm running late. Hey guys, so I've just left the hospital. I've been here for about two hours, which wasn't too bad. I thought I was going to be here all day. I had an ECG done and I've got to wear a heart monitor for 24 hours. I will show you what it looks like when I get home. Um, I just want to get home now. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling too great actually after it. It's funny, like I've come here so many times and I have MRI scans, but today what I had was I actually got to sit down with a nurse and speak to her about the condition that I could develop and things like that. And the first time I did that was eight years ago and like I've forgotten everything that they've said. I don't really know too much about the disease or anything, but I actually got to chat to the lady a bit more and yeah. I don't know, I found out a few more things about the disease that I could develop and it's just made me feel a little bit scared and anxious. Uh, I've got a booklet on it so I can kind of talk, tell you more about it when I get home. I don't know whether any of you might have ARVC or if your parents or anybody you know. Um, but yeah, I'll talk more when I get home. But yeah, it's just made me feel a little bit shit. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Just a bit scary and daunting. Um, because it's, it's actually a lot serious, more serious than I thought it was, and there's no cure, which is also quite scary. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna get home now. So I just got home. This is the book that I've got on inherited heart conditions called Arrhythmogenic Right Ventricular Cardiomyopathy. That's how you say it. Um, basically, it affects the heart because in people with ARVC, the proteins have not developed properly and can't keep the heart muscle cells together when under stress. 
such as when the heart is beating faster or working harder than normal, so exercise, for example. The cells become detached and die, and then they get replaced by fatty tissue when the heart tries to repair itself. That's the condition. It basically is all to do with your heartbeat and, and getting abnormalities in your heartbeat and the rhythm and stuff. Um, yeah, so I can't remember what I said to you earlier in the car, but I have a 50% chance of getting it because when they did the autopsy on my dad when he died, they found out that he had it and it was quite bad, I think. He didn't know he had it. Um, yeah, and we have to get tested for it. I'm going back in five years now, they've said, unless I've got any symptoms and I'm a bit worried and I want to go sooner then I can just ring them up and get like go sooner. I'm still waiting for my MRI results, but they said the ECG was fine, so that's positive news. I've got the heart thing on now, so I'm all strapped in. This is it here. So I've got to wear that for 24 hours. I've also got another one there. So just three little patches, three wires. I've got to sleep in it. Um, the lady was like, yeah, you can't shower or wash or anything, and I was like, I really need to wash my hair, <laughs> but I might try and sit in the bath because I think if I only do the bath for a little bit, I might be able to wash. It's a bit gross not to be washing off for 24 hours. Um, yeah, that, uh, that, that is where I'm at, really. So I just need to wait for the results. But the guy said it looks okay, but fingers crossed, touch wood, it is. Um, yeah, and then I go back in another however many years. But what was interesting is they said if they've still got any tissue left from when they did the autopsy on my dad's heart at the hospital somewhere they don't think that they will have but if they do they're going to be able to test the genetics on that tissue and the genes and find out what the abnormal gene is because then they can test me my brother and my sister and if we have that abnormal gene it might mean we carry the disease but not develop it or it might mean we will develop it but if we don't have that abnormal gene it means we'll never develop it so we can be written off and we won't ever have to go and get tested again so yeah that would be really helpful if they do have some tissue left but it was eight years ago when my dad passed away so they didn't really do that much genetic testing back then it wasn't really a thing so it's probably not hopeful but it's worth a look and they're looking into it but yeah, I'm home early, which is nice. So I think I'm just going to chill for this afternoon and do a little bit of homeware shopping. I need to get some, I need to start looking at lights. I've pinned a few that I like, but I might start buying some. Daddy's home. Whoa, that's a big jump. So I just picked Robin up from the station and we went to Asda to get some dinner and we got some cheeky sugar ring donuts to cheer me up. I've also been designing our bedroom. How frigging cool does this look? I'm loving it. And I did our bay window in our living room, if it works. Ta -da! I feel like such an interior designer. I'm having fun um, designing all our rooms for our houses. Just need to do my office now. Um, and that's like the main rooms really that we're going to focus on at the start so yeah it's exciting hey guys so it is now saturday and i've not vlogged at all today well, i just wanted to, to relax a little bit and just chill i had to go and let the electricians into the new house today because they're carrying on with the with the rewiring i what else are they? oh yeah i took my heart monitor off so that's all done now for 24 hours and that's it. I've been watching some stuff on Netflix. Been watching the Cine Part Two. Um, it's very interesting. Didn't know where it was going to go for part, like for the season two. But yeah, interesting. Didn't think it was going to go the way it has. But yeah, I don't want to give too much away in case none of you have watched it yet. But I think I've watched like four or five episodes now. Um, my sister just called me and asked me out to dinner, so. I need to go and get changed because my hair is wet because I had a bath earlier and I have no makeup on my face. So yeah, I'm gonna, well just for the dogs and now I'm gonna go get ready. I'm all ready for dinner. I've got these fab earrings on from Primark and this really cute jumper in like a bright bold blue from Glamorous and I'm ready.
Bag of Mama's here again. Completely forgot to vlog dinner, but I had a salmon teriyaki dish, which was really good. Um, although it was annoying because I asked for no curry oil and no chilli and they served it to me and I had one bite and it blew my head off. So I had to send it back. Oh. Yeah, I sent it back and they changed it. Oh, I also had pulled pork gyoza. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm. Uh, also, this is happening right now. It is raining so much outside. So earlier when I blow dried my hair, I didn't actually really need to blow dry it. And Robin sadly waited for an hour because he forgot a key. And he's also really wet, but he's fine because he's got a Five Guys milkshake that mm. I treated him to. And now we're gonna watch X Factor. Woo, who's excited? Oh, Luna, you got Mike the monkey? Is it Mike the monkey? Oh, Shadow's got Mike the monkey. Good morning guys, so it's now Sunday and I'm up and ready. I am off to town. I need to go to Primark because I'm filming a video for them today. So yeah, I need to go get some bits. I also need to go to Boots as well to stock up on some toiletries. And then yeah, I'm going to head back and film. Hi guys, so it's Sunday night now and I've not vlogged much today. Um, I filmed my Primark video and then I edited it and then... I chilled to be honest I've been spending quite a lot of time looking at lights <laughs> that's been my Sunday um, I've had to basically buy what is my camera doing can we focus or hello thank you um, what is it doing that's better I don't know weird setting um, yeah I've been spending my Sunday looking at lights because I'm getting the rewiring done in the house and so when they're doing it, they're going to fit all of the sockets, light switches, and then obviously all of the lights that we want. Otherwise, they just put in like the plain plasticky white ones. So it's good if we've got the lights because then they'll actually fit the exact ones we want. So I've just been looking online to be honest. It's quite hard because lights are actually quite expensive. Unless you want lamp shades, which is fine. You can just get the white plastic socket things and do lamp shades, but... But this house, I want to do it proper, and I want to do it proper nice, and I don't want to have, like, the white socket things. I want everything to be, like, gold and brass. I've got, like, an image in my mind. So, it, you know, we're spending all this money on rewiring. We may as well spend, you know, a little bit extra getting proper nice lights and doing it really, really nice. So, yeah, that is what we're doing. I have looked everywhere. I've bought so many different bloody lights got to really do like literally lights for every single room um bathroom lights has been a struggle because you have to get um basically there's this thing called ip which is to do with like the electric or something electricity in a bathroom there's different zones so like if you have a light you know within the zone of your shower it has to be like ip 65 or something or if it's kind of with in zone one you can have ip 44 these weird ip numbers you can find a graph online so i've just been trying to find bathroom lights and uh, with this ip 44 thing and i just not really found any brass ones which has been super annoying but i think i've managed to find some now so hopefully i can get those and it'll be fine um yeah i bought a really nice oh god i'm tired really nice like five bulb pendant light with all different lengths from m s got a chandelier from home base i bought some lights from dunelm because dunelm's quite good actually they've got a nice little range on there and i bought four the same just for the hallway just kept it quite simple um but everything's pretty much brass or gold that is the kind of vibe we're going for um yeah just need to purchase the bathroom ones which i think i found now and then i think we're pretty much there and i also purchased gold um plug sockets and light switches from screw fix um it's crazy because they're actually not that badly priced but it came to 200 quid because i'm ordering like i've got about four double plug sockets in each room at the moment there's only like two or two double plug sockets in each room because it's a victorian property and back in the day they never really had like that many electrical appliances whereas now we have so many different things in so many different rooms you have like a tv in your bedroom for example plus you want lights and lamps and all these different things and maybe a computer so 
yeah, I'm trying to get loads of sockets in each of the rooms, but it's just added up. Um, and obviously it's more expensive because I want gold. Um, even though it's like proper gold, it's like gold plated, but it's more expensive than the plastic ones. But yeah. Oh, anyway, thanks for watching this week's vlog. I hope this week has been a little bit more interesting because I know last week you guys said that it was just all talking. So I try my best this week to make it more about me and what I'm doing rather than just sitting and talking. Obviously, there's always going to be little bits and bobs of me sitting and talking. But yeah, I hope this week's vlog is a little bit more interesting for you guys. Um, I've tried my best. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.